It's a light heavyweight showcase between the enforcer and the problem. Extremely focused and ready to go to battle. The enforcer set to go to battle in the UFC's light heavyweight division. And we go! He's hurt! That one big oh. shot! Whoa! Going now, y'all. Welcome to another video. Today's video is another haircut tutorial for you guys, and I know I've been slacking, so here you guys go. The client featured in today's video is my very own brother, and we always say that he looks like Matt Barnes, so I figured I'd take his haircut and turn it into a video for you guys. So basically, all this haircut is is curls on top with a low to mid taper with the lineup. That's all it is. And for all you hate motherfuckers out there that's saying, oh, this isn't Matt Barnes' haircut, he has this haircut, he has that haircut. Matt Barnes has had this haircut at some point in his career, so I don't want to hear none of that shit. And by the way, you can't tell me my brother doesn't look like Matt Barnes. Alright guys, one more thing before we do get in this video. This video is going to be strictly voiceover, which means no more box that pops up in the corner of the screen with my face and I'm talking to you guys like that. All this video is is going to be my voice giving you guys instruction. And what I need from you guys is just comment down below what you guys like better, the voiceover or the little box that pops up. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, so after combing out his hair, we're going to begin to bald out the side taper and the back taper. With the side taper, it's kind of going to be like a mid taper, but also kind of like a low taper. So you want to make this guideline at the top of his ear. Now we're going to begin to bald out the back of his taper. With this, I don't, you don't want to bring the taper up too high, so you want to make this first guideline at the bottom of someone's earlobes. We're going to begin his back taper, so I take my Oscar Fast Feeds clothes. With this taper in the back, it's not going to be so high, so the guidelines are really small in this taper. Now we're going to make our next guideline right on top of that. All we're going to do is open up that lever and make another guideline right on top of that. And I can't stress this enough. If you want to keep that taper low in the back, just make sure your guidelines aren't too thick. And now to knock out that line between the two layers, all we're going to do is open and close and flick out between the two layers. What this is going to do is going to knock out that faint line we just created in between the two layers. With this, make sure you flick out because if you don't flick out, you're just going to make another guideline and the taper is never going to be faded. And our next guideline is going to be a long number one. What I mean by long number one is you take a number one guard or regular number one guard and just open up that lever on the side so it's all the way open. And in between that long number one back down to an all the way open with no guard, we're going to take a number 116 guard or a number zero guard and open and close the lever at the same time as we're flicking out. Now in between that 116 guard that we just used back down to all the way open with no guard, we're going to go with no guard, open and close the lever to knock that line out. And going back up to the top of his taper, our next guideline is going to be a long number two. With this step, you want to flick out as much as possible. Try to blend the hairs up into the curls as much as you can. If you can't blend all the hairs at this point, that's fine. Just create another guideline using that long number two. And our next step is the open and closing of the number three. This is going to blend out the very top of his taper up into the curls. If you can't blend from using the number three at this point, you can use clipper over comb, scissor over comb. Just make sure you blend out the top of that taper up into the curls. And going back down into that region of the long number one in between the long number two using our fast feeds, I feel like my masters were gonna do this job a little bit better. So I just grabbed a number one guard, opened and closed, and tried to fade that region out. You can probably knock this area out with the number two guard on our Oscar fast feeds, but I just felt like grabbing them my Andis masters. And this line right here, you could go with your fast feeds, but I already had my Andis masters in hand, so I just did with the number two guard closed and knock out that little dark line at the top of his taper. And I always say this, the number 116 guard or a number 0 guard in any taper or any fade is the perfect in between the guard to get that blend right. So I just take my masters with that number 116 guard on and take out all the dark spots in between this fade. Yeah. 
And to knock out the dark spots on the bottom of this fade, I just grab my Andes Master once again and open and close it with no guard. Moving on to a side taper, we're going to grab our Arsta Fast Feeds closed with no guard to make our first guideline. And our next guideline is just going to be open up the lever all the way and make another guideline right on top of that. As you can see his side taper we don't have a large area to work with so I'm just barely using the corner of the blade. And to knock out that line in between the two layers just open and close flick out with no guard. Then we're just going to take a number one guard open up the lever all the way and make another guideline right on top of that. And now I'm going to blend out the very top of his taper using a long number two. I was able to blend out the hair up into the curls just using a long number two. If you guys aren't able to do this, by all means, grab a number three, a four, clipper over comb, shears, whatever you have to use to make that the blend look right up into the curls, by all means, use that. And going back down from that long number one down to no guard all the way open, we're just going to open and close our number 116 guard or our number zero guard, open and close and flicking out to knock that line out. This is probably the most important part of this taper, so make sure you get this blend right. To be honest, I barely ever use my Andes Masters, but for this haircut, I just felt the need to use them. So to blend out the bottom of this taper, I just want my Andes Masters open and close it with no guard flicking out. And right here I was just trying to blend out the top of his beard as best I can without using a guard so I just took my fast feet to open and close with no guard flicking out. And after that I eventually had to use a guard so I just took my 116 guard open and close and blend out the rest of his beard. And I'm pretty sure you guys can tell that he's my brother because his beard doesn't connect for shit, but it's cool, bro. We some light-skinned niggas and we cute as fuck. Next I'm going to prep his lineup. My brother's hair in the front grows in all different types of direction. He has a big ass cowlick in the front but all I'm trying to do at this point is comb down all the hairs that aren't standing up into his curls. And after that I'm going to take a number 116 guard with the grain and lay these hairs down. All this is going to do is cut these down evenly and make them easier for me to line them up. And to clean the surface of his skin, I just spray some alcohol. And to hold those hairs in place before I line them up, I just use some light holding hairspray.
And this next step is very important. Make sure you, after you're done connecting someone's lineup, you step back, look in the mirror, and make sure it's straight. And if you guys are new to my channel, I recently just switched to using a shave gel. I used to do dry shaves. But if you're curious to what shave gel I use, it's called Easy Blade Shaving Gel. All the information is in the description box below. Check it out. It opens up the pore, softens the skin, makes the razor glide easier. And for my subscribers, I just recently switched to using the Easy Blade Straight Razor. I would suggest you guys go pick up this razor because it is a quality razor, like the wood grain handle feels really soft, really smooth. But I would suggest not to use Persona Straight Blades with this from Sally's because they're complete shit. Usually I rock with the single blades, I used to rock with the single blade Personas and those were hidden. But these double edged Persona blades are complete trash bro. So take it from me, do not buy the double edged Persona blades, but go pick up the Easy Blade Straight Razor, I promise you we would not be disappointed. And my favorite thing about using Easy Blade, it makes my client's mustache hair soft and when I use the razor, it eliminates the tug. But the most important thing is I don't have to use a clipper around someone's mustache area. When you use an anis liner, let's take that for, for example, and you hit somebody's nose with that, it vibrates their nose and makes them sneeze and makes them like teary-eyed. So when using a shave gel and a razor, you eliminate all that and it's much crispier. y'all that's gonna do it for this video hopefully you guys did like this video just a little bit if you did hit that thumbs up button drop a comment down below negative or positive if you are new to my channel i have plenty more videos like this one just hit that subscribe button and become a new family member here on e jones tv follow me on instagram and twitter at e underscore jones to stay connected with me and i will see you guys in the next video peace